Just a little bit. There's one. That's bigger, dude. That is bigger. Oh my. That's a crappy, that's a giant. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the episode. Today, Zave and I are out here at the Stump Pond and we have a mission. Y'all saw from the thumbnail, we're gonna be doing a catch and cook on crappy. Currently, we're just back the boat up. The boat's in the water now. We're getting tied up with all of our jigs and we're gonna hit this pond hard. I don't know how many we're gonna try to catch. Just depends on how big they are. And we're not really looking too good right now because there's a storm coming our way. So hopefully it gets these fish fired up enough to where we can just fish super quick, get our limit of crappy, and then head to Zave's house and cook them up. I'll show you all the tips and techniques, how we're gonna find these crappy, how we're gonna catch them, and especially how we're gonna cook them. Y'all stay tuned. You ready to do this, man? I'm ready to do this. Prepping for the storm. Get a push off. And we're off. Turn the control motor down. All right, guys, so how are we catching these crappies today? Right now, we're sitting at the dam. We're going to be throwing this little white grub. What are you going to be throwing? I'm throwing a white grub. I don't even know, to be honest. He don't know. I'm throwing a white grub, guys. You know, I swear up and down about those. We're going to be fishing three stumps today in one little open pocket. I call it A, B, and C. Hopefully, A holds them first, and we'll jump to B, and then C. Hopefully, we get some good, decent-sized crappie today. Like I said, I don't know how many we're going to take. Depends how big they are. That's our bucket right here. We're going to just fill it up with water, and whatever we catch, we'll just throw in there. Let's get this land. We're throwing the old ultralights. Here's my pack of yum grubs. These are actually the bigger ones, because we're going for some bigger crappie today. Rig that guy up. Just ready to fish. Four-pound test. Let's get to it. All right, guys, we're at the first spot. Fishing stump A. Let's see what happens. Here's one. Smoked it. It's number one. Get him up. That is a keeper. Change my mind. It's actually not a keeper. A little too small. We're going to throw him back. Got him. Hooked up. That's a good one, dude. That's a keeper. <laughs> That's a giant, dude. Did he foul hook him? Did he eat it? He's got a spin just wrapped around the line. There he is. Get him up here. That's a good one. Two keepers. Dude, these are giants, dude. All right, y'all. There's the first two. Those are absolute slabs. We would take those all day. Nice Throw them in ones. the bucket. Water in the bucket. Throw them in. Look at those. It's a big bucket, dude. Mm -hmm. They're they sprawled out. It's really important, guys. You want to go right back in the spot where you're at least where we're catching them at. You want to just run in there and just spook all of them because we're in a big school right now. So as soon as we get out of our position, I kind of just try to put us back there in the same spot. There we go. Got him. Get him. Big one. Another keeper. God, man, these are slabs. Throw them in the bucket. There's, oh, I had him. Pull it off. Hit it again. There he is. Got him. Another big one, dude. God. Get up here. That one's got some shoulders. Throw them in the bucket. Hopefully he fits. There we go. There's one. Got him. Another good one. God. Oh, these are slabs. Skinny though. This one's like super old and skinny. We're gonna let him go. Fatten up, Jack. You want them to be good eating size, so you're not just killing a fish. You can now, you should be able to see the shoulders when you pull them up. The guy looked like a piece of paper. There's one. That's bigger, dude. That is bigger. Oh my. That's gotta be a bass, dude. That's a crappy, that's a giant. That is a crappy, that is a giant. What is it? Is that a catfish? Huh. It is a catfish. You wanna eat some catfish? That's a freaking giant bullhead. All right, y'all, that's a big old mud cat bullhead. Giant. Thank you, buddy. There he is. Get up here. A little smaller one. Thank you, buddy. There's one. A little squeaker. Healthy fish, though. Thank you, buddy. You got him? Get him, dude. It's a big one. That's a big one. <laughs> Look at that slab. I think B's holding him, too. Keeper. There he is. He's a little guy. Yeah, it's a keeper. Oh, and he just came off. Got him. Looks pretty good. Healthy fish. Thank you, buddy. There he is. Get up here, bud. 
He'll be big one day. Hey, buddy. Small one here. Yeah. B's holding some little ones. Going back to A. Got him. Send it to the water. He smoked it. Yeah. A's got him today, dude. Yeah. Sure does. It's a good one, dude. Look at that one. There he is. That's a good one. Stay down. Get up here. Not a bad one. They're loving this jig, man. Pretty fish. Thank you, bud. Show you a little bit of magic. You don't need a lot. Just a little. White and yellow is killer. Lots of money. Get them. That's a good one, dude. Just need a little bit of yellow. That's all you need. Look at that one. Garlic flavor. That's a slab. Look at the shoulders on him. I just got whacked hard. There he is. Got him. That's a big one. <laughs> just a little bit of yellow. That's all you need. We'll take it. Hold him up, Zave. Yes, sir. Yes. Throw him in. Got him. Big one. It's a nice one. <laughs> God. There he is. Run it right towards me. Oh, that's a good one. So B's got him too. They're all just so mixed up. That's a good one right there. Got him. You got one too? Doubles. Is it a good one? You might have a catfish, dude. Oh, a bass. A big bass. A nice bass. God. That's a good bass, dude. Oh, he just spit it. There's my little crappy. Got him. He just wrapped me up, but he's on there still. It's not a bad one. That's a, that's a, look how wide that one is. It's like a bluegill. There he is. Feels pretty good. This is our last one. Oh, he little. Too little to keep. I want these guys to get bigger. Thank you, buddy. All right, guys, we're off the water now. I just want to show y'all what we're about to go prepare. Mmm. That is just a bucket full of giant crappie. Take it. Din din. All right, y'all, we're back at the house now. We have everything laid out. I'm to filet. Alright guys, we're last left off in this video, we were actually cleaning all these fish and my freaking camera died, so we still wound up cooking all of them, but uh, you guys didn't get to see us cook or eat these fish, so we just went back out, the bite was not that good at all. We caught one giant and some average 5 to 8 inches, I'm going to give it. I have four of them right here that we're going to have one in there that we're going to fillet, but I just want to show you guys this is how we cook our fish. If y'all can see, we still have the fins. We just cut off the head. There's actually so much meat still on the bone if you just fry it like this. It's good to have fillets, and if you get a big enough crappie, I recommend filleting it. But for our case, they're not that big. I don't want to waste any meat, so I'm going to show you guys a cool recipe how we're going to eat these fish. Let's go inside and cook them. All right, guys, this is A's mom right here. She's going to show us the recipe, Jenny, how to season these crappy. I'm doing it for the first time, so hopefully it'll come out good. We're going to do some garlic powder. Mm -hmm. We're going to do both on each side because you got to you got to season on both sides. Lemon pepper. Mm -hmm. That's my son Zavian making sounds in the back. <clears throat> salt and fresh ground pepper. They look good. Oh, it's already smelling good. My salt yeah. shaker's a little low, so that's why it looks pepper. like I'm putting a ton of pepper, but I'm not. Fresh ground pepper's always better. Flip them. And do the same thing. Granulated garlic, lemon pepper, a little bit of salt. There's gonna be salt in the batter too, so we don't wanna put too much. Fresh ground pepper. We're gonna add a little bit of carbonated water to a beer batter mix. No measuring here. Just winging it. That's right. A little bit more until you get a thick batter. 
So what do we got here? 350? Yeah, it's a little high. You to cool oh. down? Yeah, we're gonna turn it down. We want it about 350. It's at 450, which is a little too high. Okay, It'll probably be okay, but... All right, it's nice and thick. See, it's nice and thick. We call this the dredge? Yes. Oh, we got it. We call it the this love. This is sticking good. Let's, Let's pop the first one and see if we got our batter the right consistency. We're gonna give it a couple minutes on each side. And I think if you let it rest for one minute, it's definitely. Oh. Mm. All right, guys, we're about to taste these crappy. Y'all can see right here, these are the flays, and this is the actual fish. I mean, it looks, there's actually a lot of meat on this. I mean, I actually like doing it that way the best because you're not, like I said, you're not wasting any meat. But these are the flays right here. Which one do you want to do first? I'm going to fillet. All right, I'll dig into the fish. All right, I'm going to try fillet. You cook crappy right, guys. This is what it looks like. White, flaky meat. Dig it in first piece. Mm, I love crappy so much. You gotta try this. I'm gonna try it. Try I'm gonna piece. try a little nugget. Mm. That's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Try a piece? Yeah. It's cooked perfectly. Like, it's mm -hmm. gonna be any better. Mm -hmm. That was the fillets. Have you tried the fish yet? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Even this meat is just flaking apart. Look at that. Mm -hmm. That's all you want. Let them get a little bit of that. You're so good. That's what well, no, it's good meat. Meat, Look how flaky that meat is. Perfect. That's exactly how you want it. Delicious. Good. You nailed this. Good job. Thank you. All right, guys. I'm going to end this video right here. Hope you guys enjoyed it like always. Catching these crappy and cooking them was just a crazy experience. I got to learn different ways to cook them and season them. It's a perfect fish. Everyone says crappy is amazing. And if you actually cook it right and don't overcook it, the meat is not mushy and it's actually it's so flaky and white. It's probably honestly one of the best freshwater fish I've ever tasted. Saltwater is a different category. Did you have fun doing this, man? Oh, I had a great time. It was delicious, too. Well, it really was. It's just something I want you guys to try. I don't do many catch and cooks on my channel because I like seeing fish swim back and I like catching them again. But if you guys do enjoy these videos, we have some pretty cool ideas of some fish that we could catch and cook. Stuff that most people don't do. So if you guys want to see that, leave a comment down below. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're going to wrap it up right here. If y'all want to check out any more videos on my channel, just click on one of these four right here and leave a comment down below. I appreciate it, guys. Litton Bass TV.